Yeah, this video is a sponsored product review of this brake bleeder. It was sent to me to make this video with. It was actually sent to me quite some time ago. I just didn't have anything to use it on until now. And it's made by Motive Products. It's a model 0290. Yeah, so now we're going to open the box up and see what's inside. Yeah, and this is the actual uh, brake bleeder. It's the type you, you put brake fluid in and you just pump this up and then it hooks to the master cylinder. And it comes with a bunch of different adapters. And here's like the adapter for old cars. Uh, and it even says what they go to. Yeah, this one's for GM and Ford. Yeah, and that one's for Ford. And I think they also make other adapters for this. This one says for European cars. This one's for Chrysler. And this is what one's for uh, metal uh, uh, master cylinders that are round, probably for like older cars. So now, uh, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is open this up and put a uh, brake fluid in here. Yeah, so now I'm going to take you outside and hook it up to the actual uh, car. Yeah, I also have one of these Mighty Vac uh, brake bleeders. And this is a type that actually sucks the brake fluid out through the bleed screws, and it works terrible. It has uh, air in it every single time. So let's see how this other brake bleeder works, if it works much better. Yeah, and this is a 2001 Ford E250 van. And the reason I'm bleeding the brakes is I just uh, replaced the master cylinder. And I've also already filled the master cylinder full of brake fluid. And I've got the right adapter on there and everything. Yeah, and it says to pump it up to 15 pounds, so we're going to do that right now. I didn't have much brake fluid to actually put in here. Yeah, it'd pump up much faster if it was a, it had a lot more brake fluid in it. Okay, so that's 15 pounds. Yeah, so now what you want to do is always start with the uh, blade screw that's farthest away from the master cylinder. That'd be the right rear wheel. Yeah, so we're at the right rear wheel and I put a hose on the blade screw. So now we're just going to loosen that up and until no air comes out of here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that real good. Eventually some air is going to come out of here because I just replaced that master cylinder. There it goes. The front wheels will go much faster. 
is closer to the master cylinder. And usually you do this until just that, uh, just until a uh, clean brake fluid comes out of here. Yeah, so it looks like we got all the air out of this. Then you're just going to tighten this back down. And then we're going to move over to the other side. Yeah, so now we're on the left rear wheel. And this side will go faster because you've already got the fluid all the way down the line here. And the brake fluid is coming out clean, so that, that should be good on this one. So now we just tighten that back down. So now I'm on the right front wheel. And there the air comes out of it. And uh, clean brake fluid's coming out, so this should be good on this one. Yeah, now we're on the left front wheel. What I'm going to do is start it up and turn the wheels the other way. It's much easier to get to the blade screw on it. Yeah, and this side goes the fastest because it's closest to the master cylinder. And that should be good on the side. We already got uh, clean brake fluid coming out of it. Yeah, so now we want to remove the brake leader. And the best way to do that is put a rag around this quick coupler so it doesn't get brake fluid all over. Yeah, the master cylinder you want to check it. It's still full exactly where I had it. And that's all, about all there is to it. And after you're finished, it says to slowly lo loosen this to uh, release the pressure and clean it out. Don't leave uh, brake fluid in here. So this power brake leader works great. I would definitely recommend it. And I, uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description if I can find out where you buy it at. Yeah, it was sent to me so long ago, I don't have any of the information on it, but it looks like you can buy it on eBay or uh, Summit Racing sells it.